final stage of the process is to open your file in Adobe Acrobat Writer. Now the file we're looking for is on the desktop and it's a TIFF file. There it is. Now once that's loaded into Adobe Acrobat click on document and we're going to ask it to do an optical character recognition. Selecting all pages and then select the language of your document. There is a, a variety of languages you can choose from. Remember to distinguish between US and UK English. In this case it's, it, case it's UK English. Set the resolution to 300 because that's the resolution of your original. What it's going to do is create an overlay of characters from the text which can be searched and you notice as it goes through the software will straighten the text so that's quite skewed but you can see as it finishes the page it straightens it up okay so if I switch to thumbnail view you can see that those pages are looking much much better and at this stage you can also see if you've missed any cropping any edges in which case you go back and correct the TIFF image and run the Adobe Acrobat again most of those pages are okay there is one final um, process you can do to optimize the page which gives you a smaller file size in most cases though you do have to che check this um, sometimes you get a slightly larger file size and you have to make a judgment whether the larger file size is justified uh, whether it gives you sufficient increase in quality otherwise just go with the original that was produced. This is version 9 of Adobe Acrobat. Version 10 uh, it can do both processes as in one both the, the optical character recognition and the the optimization. And once that's done, it does take a few minutes. This um, process is, is really the limiting factor on, on what so, sort of laptop you need. If your laptop is not powerful enough to run Adobe Acrobat, then you, you need to get a more powerful laptop. Um, that's look at the specs for Adobe and pick your hardware to match that. There isn't anything else that is as demanding as this software for the process that we are we're carrying out. Now, when I attempt to select now, instead of just getting an image, we, I get text that can be copied and pasted into a document and one that you can actually search for different characters. So if I typed in Wesley see and go forward see it's found C there Then all you have to do is to save your file, which again I'm going to save to the desktop. And upload your file to the web.